Bister. I'm the Senior Presidential Advisor for Strategic Initiatives in the President's Office, and also I am a Professor of Mathematics and Statistics. In regard to open access journals, let me tell you a little bit about my experience. I've been asked to submit to these journals, but the cost has been prohibitive. Uh, the benefit is great to allow me to have that access on my own website and to provide those journal copies to others, but with a grant opportunity when you can use that, those funds for students, I've chosen to do that rather than to go with an open access journal. I found other journals that are highly recommended and, and have uh, a good impact factors to send that to. My concern is uh, actually for younger faculty members who do not have grants and when funds are limited, how can they find the money to do those kind of things and to uh, be portable, if you will, to be able to teach well, do their research, and to do the service that they need, but the research, scholarship, and creative activity is a huge component of their jobs. Um, I do think that open access is where people are going. I work or have worked uh, or volunteered, if you will, as this Society for Mathematical Biology treasurer. And that discussion has been had. It's an international organization that has a journal. And what happens if it goes open access because we have a lot of international young people involved and how do they get the money to be able to do that? On the flip side of that, that is that those same people who are from those international countries want access to those papers so they can do the research. I don't have an answer for this, but I do think there are, are opportunities for further discussion, uh, especially with repository ideas that we now have within our own library.